This video is a quick tutorial demonstrating how to upload your case or your and your records to the R2Gate portal. First thing is you want to make sure you have an R2Gate account. Uh, if you don't, just simply go to r2gate.com, click on the top right where it says join, and simply follow the registration process. It takes a few minutes, just basic information and creating a username and password. Once you're done, you're going to hit save. Uh, you're going to go back to the main page under r2gate.com. And then now on the top right, you want to click log in. You want to uh, sign in with the username and password that you just created. Once you're logged in, then you want to go to the top where it says online order. You want to click on new order. And then the first thing is you want to make sure you search for the correct R2 seller. Um, so you want to click search. And like you see, there's so many R2 sellers uh, all over the world. So you want to make sure you select the right one. Otherwise, the case would go to a different R2 seller. So you want to search for Megagen America Clinical. So I'm going to put Megagen America. And then right here, it says Megagen America Clinical. You want to hit select. I confirm right here that I selected Megagen America Clinical. Obviously, the service type is R2 service. And then you just want to fill your information here. Uh, your office name, your patient name, uh, uh, the doctor's name, phone number, and email. And right here, this is the user confirm method. If you do want us to send you a report, uh, an R2Gate report after the uh, via email, or if you want us to send you the treatment plan, uh, which is the viewer version, uh, of R2Gate called R2Gate Lite. We could send you the R2Gate Lite file uh, through this uh, through your account here, and you could download it and import it into the viewer version of R2Gate and be able to view the plan. And under notice right here, you want to put in any notes for the planner, especially for Full Arch. You want to uh, uh, you know let them know if it's an upper or a lower or a double arch case. Uh, whether you're doing an FP1 or an FP3, if you're evaluating this for something in particular, like an overdenture, any additional notes that you want the planner to know or put in consideration when they're planning the case. Uh, surgical information, it's um, obviously if you're doing flapped or flapless, um, you know, what kit you're using, and obviously the implant system and delivery date, um, you want to fill that as well. And again, you could put all this information in the notes, uh, or you could select uh, additional information right here. And then if you are planning for a simple single implant case um, uh, or a quad case uh, or whatever site implant you want to plan for, other than full arch, you want to select the tooth. You want to select stelt if you want us to design a surgical guide. Click save. And then it adds an implant right there. That way we know, okay, I'm plan you're planning an implant uh, in an upper lat lateral there, right? Um, if you are doing a full arch, you still want to select any two site, uh, because it, this is a required field and then just specify under the notes that this is going to be a full arch upper or a full arch lower or both. And then now is uploading the records on the bottom right here. You have the CBCT section and the SDL file section. So with the CBCT section, you want to make sure before you upload it that you uh, compress or zip the folder that has the DICOM files. Obviously, you want to make sure these are multi-DICOM or multi-slice files and not just one uh, uh, file or one slice. Um, and then you want to take that folder, compress it or zip it, and then upload that zipped folder. So for instance, right here, this is the folder that cre uh, that contains all my DICOM files. I zipped it and I'm going to hit open and upload it right there. Under model or scan file, uh, this is where you upload your SDL. So your upper SDL, your opposing, your lower, your bite SDL. If you have a wax up SDL, they want to include. And also any photos, um, you could upload it in this section as well individually. So I'm going to hit browse. I'm going to upload my upper and lower, for instance, right there, SDLs. And you could see them right there. And then once you're done and everything is good to go, then you want to click save. It's going to ask you to confirm. And it's just going to take a few minutes to upload. And once you're uploaded you're, and you're saved, then um, it takes you to your main portal right here. And then you could see this is the order that you just created. 
and you could go in, you could add any additional notes or make any edits, edits if, uh, if needed. Uh, but other than that, the case comes automatically to us and we're able to open the order the same way and we're able to go to your records and download them from here. And then it should be good to go. Thank you so much.